More information about Chapter 19 is coming on out, more teasers, and it's really, really exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm the King. Welcome on into the channel. Today, we are going to be talking about the teasers that Dead by Daylight have posted very early this morning. We're now finally getting a chance to make this video and analyze everything for you guys. For those of you guys that don't know what's been going on in the past few days, Dead by Daylight's Twitter account was quote unquote hacked, and we've seen exactly a bunch of chapter 19 teasers and this included a coffee cup a name change a header change a profile picture change so on and so forth and in this video we're going to explain what this all means what this means for the future and how this relates to the new dlc and what are these leaks all leading up to and what are they correlating if you guys do enjoy this video i ask that you guys leave a like down below share it with your friends so they can hear this theory as well and subscribe for some more daily Dead by Daylight content. I'm sure that tomorrow as well, we're going to get another teaser at 11 a.m. leading up to the reveal of when the PTB is going to be out, maybe on Tuesday or the following Tuesday after that. So with that being said, we can go ahead and jump on into everything. So on Twitter today, Dead by Daylight have continued to tease everything and they posted this today with said feeling it with the fire emoji and the explosion emoji. And then they gave us two more hashtags that were in Korean and then they also gave us the hashtag Magnium Opus, which is the name of the account. So we're going to break this down, essentially. These two words here translate to slay and flex, if I'm not mistaken. And we can obviously see what's going on now, or at least it's pretty apparent to me. Uh, what's going on with everything is that similarly to when the wealth was in charge of Dead by Daylight's account back in December, for those of you guys that missed out, it was a time of promotion and basically the account was named the wealth and they had a picture of the wealth as a skin and um he was basically tweeting a bunch of things and saying a bunch of things this is what's happening here again and this is to build up hype for the chapter and what we're seeing here is the survivor or potentially killer in control of the dead by daylight account and promoting everything and this is their new form of marketing or promotion at least from what i'm seeing and it makes a lot of sense because I'm going to be honest with you guys, with the teasers that we received for the Blight, for the Twins, for uh, the Killers before that, they've been kind of a lot like Gluster. Uh, I remember the first time we received something like this, it was with the Death Singer. We came off a high with the Oni chapter where all week we were talking about the Oni, we were putting all these clues together, lords and bits, and it was a massively fun time. And then what ended up happening was that we simply kind of fell off with the Death Singer. We just got like one image and one little video with chains and then same thing with the blight with just one little picture and then it was just here's the ptb and with all the bugs included as well it just didn't really make for notable or big chapter reveals you know and we never really felt that big rush or at least for me personally with some of these non-licensed chapters since probably the Oni. what they're doing now is reminding you that hey this chapter is here this something is coming whatever it may be and it keeps the relevancy up and it works really good with promotion we've seen a lot of other companies do this at well and they do it pretty good similarly to how uh the new call of duty game is promoting all their zombies things they're putting it on twitter and constantly reminding you of it and that's exactly what we're seeing here on this twitter page once the final dead by daylight post was made we saw the first post and a lot of people like psychoanalyze this including myself but all it really is is this person using their account as if it was their own think about you for example uh if you were one of these like uh influencers or maybe just a person updating people about their lives they simply just took a picture of their coffee cup they said stay tuned and they gave our little hashtag of fighting which in korean when translated is like good luck essentially or or it means like you know carry on with your fight from what i understand and we also see they have the mighty one entertainment which makes it seem that they are working on um with a company maybe they're the host of a company similar to jane maybe they're doing their own company and they're working all night for this whatever their role may be uh, and knowing that their name is Masterpiece, a lot of people were thinking this might work with art, this might work with clothing, whatever the case may be. But it's clear to see that this person either thinks highly of themselves or their company, obviously naming themselves Masterpiece or what is to be an artist's best work. That could refer to them, that could refer to their company, and that's where it goes together. And it's clear to see that they're using their influencer power 
just to promote things essentially and that's why they have the hashtags of flex and slay because they're feeling themselves they feel really good they think they're the masterpiece and they're showing their outfit off to the community and you can see replies on xbox as well saying we have no idea what is happening but we're here for it and then it gets a reply from them saying took the selfie before heading out to an event a while ago epic night out on top of this, we also seen a lot of other replies from this where they said face reveal one queen and they said soon queen. And we also seen a reply which says uh, she has my hair, let's go. And it says your style is perfection slaying. So we can't expect this face reveal to come pretty, pretty soon. And if it is coming soon, it leads us to think that, hey, maybe on Tuesday we're going to be able to see this PTB coming out. We're going to be able to play this PTP if they're saying soon, but DBD is notorious for saying soon. A lot of people are also making the suggestion that this right here might be a Baird, but it is indeed a shadow because if you look at the header profile picture, um, you can clearly see that there isn't a Baird there. And if this is the same person, which it looks like it is, it's more than likely not to be. So they're going to do this big dramatic face reveal and everything is slowly but surely going to come tying together. Now, there's still a lot of questions that we have that need to be answered in order for us to fully understand this chapter and those questions are what is White mighty one entertainment how does this correlate to the entity will this take a dark turn and we might see this person get consumed by the entity or how far will this promotion go essentially as of now it simply looks like to me that this character that is going to be coming on in the game or has some relation to this chapter is just tweeting going about their lives and they're excited about either working or promoting or you know uh showing off their company they've been working all night they're happy about it they're feeling it this was an event that they went to correlates to maybe a um an influencer or someone that's higher up a lot of people have been making a lot of different correlations to maybe someone that is working with uh cyber technology someone that might be into k-pop and they're actually a k-pop artist because it connects with masterpiece and you know art uh, so there's a lot of correlations that are currently being made, but for me, the way I see it, simply put right now, is that this is just someone using their platform, essentially, to talk about what's going on. And it definitely does make a lot of sense to me on why they would go with a promotion like this. As I mentioned, it just keeps a relevancy up. It keeps it in your head of saying like, hey, this chapter is here. This is going to come on out. And throughout the week, we're probably going to see more and more stuff. You can also see that each of these posts were made strictly on 11 a.m. That's typically when Dead by Daylight puts their posts out. So it's going to be quite interesting. This one was three. They're also sometimes when they post at three, but mainly it's for 11. So we might see something coming out tomorrow at 11 and it might give us more details on what's going on. But this is the way that I see it. Maybe this is a survivor, maybe it's a killer. We're going to have to wait and see. But ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you guys think that this chapter may be, what it will entail. Are we going to see this becoming the killer or the survivor? Is this going to take a dark turn and we might start to see some crazy tweets coming out? We'll eventually have to wait and see. And it's going to be a wild, wild ride. Make sure you guys are subscribed down below so you know when more Dead by Daylight content is coming on out. This one took a little bit for me to put out because I wanted to really analyze everything and figure out what's going on here and what this all intertwines into. And I think, again, it's pretty obvious that this is like maybe a host to something or a CEO of something. They're pretty proud of themselves or their company. Hence why the masterpiece name, the slay, the flex. And um, they're just using this as their social media account the same way DeWelf used it as their social media account. Great marketing strategy. And I'm looking forward to all the other teases that's going on. I've seen a lot of people already talking about balances as well, saying, why are they promoting, you know, like the survivor, and not the killer? Or why are they doing this and not that? And I, I just can't be asked. It is literally just hype building up for the chapter and people are already analyzing it on if the killer is weak or strong doesn't even make any sense to me but hey in the coming days we'll learn more and more about this chapter and i'm excited about it i'm excited because it gives us things to talk about every single day to expand our knowledge and to really feel this chapter out these are the times that i feel most alive when these chapters come on out and we have something new to talk about and something new to explore so i'm very very happy about it and hopefully this is one of their best chapters that they have to date We'll wait and see. But that is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, if you did, leave a like down below. Share with your friends. 
and subscribe to the channel. Keep up with us on the Discord as well. And on Saturday, we are doing our amazing Sabaton over on Twitch. So hopefully we'll see you guys there as well. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. We're also going to be starting a new series on our second channel. We're going to be playing Valheim, Valheim uh, the new Viking game. And we're going to take a look at that. And it's going to be really, really awesome. So hopefully we'll see you there as well. As always, I'm the king. I did my crown to you guys. And we'll see you in the fog. Oh, <laughs>